Ten minutes to uh, yeah, you're gonna have an issue. Well, that was disturbing. Hello everyone, I'm Echo, and welcome to Resident Evil Zero. Technically the prequel to the first game, but the kind of play guide I'm following for what order I should really, I should kind of play these in, which I think only really applies from like 1, 2, 3, and 0, and then from there you kind of play them in the normal order, but it does give me an idea of where I should put, like, Revelations and all the other games. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, this is technically a prequel, but apparently, because of the way the stories are kind of written, it's actually a good idea to play this after you play the first three, so, yeah, let's jump into it. A Midwestern, a Midwestern town in Never America, mind. Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockford Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise umbrella was somehow involved, Little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? Mm. And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Damn! This is already July 23rd, 1998. In terms of the original games, this is a massive so step too. up. Yeah. Do about it. Hold off for a while. I wonder how the react to this. So jumping to before the mansion incidents. Uh What the hell? Are we taking a trip into Night Springs? What the hell? Well, that went from zero to a hundred. And there's this first set of stars officers. Two hours later, above Raccoon Forest. It began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. Interesting. What's going on? Engine failure. Emergency landing. That's not good. Whew. This. Hello, hello. You're so Check gonna die. Position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look. MP. <gasps> Ooh, wonder if they're gonna get up. Captain. Hmm? What happened? Ooh. Court order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex-lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoners to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. 
All right, everyone. Let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. Okay. This is a major step up from the original. Hell, even the detail in these cutscenes is even more. But I think by this time, a new console would have come out. And I'm pretty sure they have made three games at this point. Resi 1, 2, and 3 before making Resi 0. A train. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Never encountered those little maggot thingies. Not sure you want to go in there. The door to the safety is shut. There is no turning back. Creepy. And we're in it already. So where are you? Where are you? Whoever you are. Actually, we don't have a name yet. Oh, found the inventory button. Holy crap! Six. Inventory slots. Holy crap. That's so few. Oh my god. Okay, well, yep, I'm back to this. God, I love these games to death, but still. Locked. Uh. Map. Do we have a map button? Okay, please tell me I can change controls. They change. They made the aim button, the map button, and the map button, the aim button. Who the fuck did that? Where's the options? Okay, type D should work. Oh, thank you. Type D seems to be about the same as the original original. I was not about to learn an entirely new control scheme. We got through here. Oh! That's different. At least different from when I This is Officer Chambers from Star's Bravo team. Chambers. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The government has announced that she has been So you're like a medic, I guess. Uh, behind you. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Mm, no, get off. Do something. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. And reuse the old control scheme. Oh! What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. Yeah, they were, kind of. I like that in between cutscene bits and bits and. S yeah, in between. Blah, 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 blah. I can talk like a normal human being. Jesus. In between cutscene bits. That's nice. Did. Don't know why I can do that. Oh. Through the window, you see a broken ladder. It's no use right now. <laughs> I love that. Right now. It's something different. I like Chambers as well. She's not that bad. Oh, I did. I was just about. I was wondering. Lights been cut, rendering useless. Yeah, I was wondering what that noise was. <laughs> I was like, "What the hell is that?" Yeah, what the hell? Oh, oh. can we even go down here? I think. Can we use the door. Uh, they look like some kind of eggs. Put those signs formed around them. Yeah, let's get out of here. Also, you seem to be a medic, which is gonna be useful. I'm not sure if they changed the color of the... Of that. Oh, come on! 
Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck. It's gonna get me killed. Some. Yep, there we go. Shine's so gonna bust through the window. Oh. Oh. Hmm. So I guess it's blue when we haven't fully explored it. Red if we haven't fully cleared it. And green if it's. If we can leave. What we got in here? I like this. This is a nice upgrade on the door animations from the first one. I guess second and third. The news. Ooh, Passenger's Diary. July 14th. We're just getting from the boss today. Uh, it looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arclay Mountain Lab Mountain's Laboratory. We're moving in two groups. The initial group is assigned to start checking what's left of the abandoned experiments. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test uh, production of Bao type Y139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with uh, type 139. Uh, there's still so much we don't know about responses to the uh, Kruskin T virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species, uh, uh, species and nutrition conditions, we uh, minute dose of tea bring about the remarkable change in solidity, size, uh, multiplication of internal toxins, and brain development. If these effects can be controlled. A powerful weapon could be produced, like a bioweapon. Uh, but the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding fragility. Uh, certain areas become exceedingly weak, problematic. One of these areas is a head carapace. Uh, the lab we were going to, were, where were they pursuing the same research? It would be certainly, it would certainly help to find out, find data and samples that we could help us in our research. June nineteenth, the. Day is finally approaching. I am growing more anxious. The raccoon city newspapers and tea stations are full of reports about the bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? If it is, no, I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on this investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. <laughs> Got the passenger's diary. Okay, it's never done that before. But yeah, you're so gonna get up. Use. That's a new one. Oh, we're back to the aiming thing. That's not gonna help me. Tent and sleep uncovers a smile. Oof. Also, at this point, it seems like a lot of Umbrella are fairly confident what they're doing is meant to do some good. Which. <sighs> it's kind of understandable, because. Recently, let's remember, the timeline was the guy who was planning on originally founding Umbrella would have went to the village it, from Resident Evil 8, if you don't know Resident Evil 8, spoiler alert, is technically a prequel, sort of. It takes place after everything else that occurs in the Resident Evil world, but it takes place at a location that has absolutely nothing to do with Umbrella. A location which actually gave the guy the what was needed to create the monsters that he's created. So reasonably, a few years ago, he would have been there, done his research, taken the thing, and left, pissing off Mother Miranda. And not too long after, he would have started Umbro with his buddies. From there, they would have began working in the research lab. So maybe 30 years tops, give or take. From the point where he got the stuff to the point of, I'd say, the first game. I'd say about there. Because the first and zero take around about within the same month, relatively. Because this team goes silent, which, honestly, considering what we found, I don't have high hopes for Chambers or anyone else surviving. Sorry. Sorry. Like, I just don't. Because we never found you. We never found any of you. Hello, hello. Anyone in here looking to take a chomp out of our tits? 
Uh, we got one of we got a freaking save point investigation orders. Uh, stained with blood. Some sections are legible. Eight miles north of Raccoon City in the Arcane Mountain lies our uh, company's management train facility, which shut down years ago. Now we are uh, conducting a pre uh, criminal uh, study into the reopening of the facilities. Uh, first investigation unit is already on site and opening the investigation. I want your team to provide support. The following orders are. Uh, Following orders are William B. Bark first. Oof, the rest is unreadable. Yeah, that last bit was kind of unreadable. So, do we still need. If you remember, we needed. Uh, danger, apparently. Jesus. Can you back up the shape? Sweet. Uh, do we still need. Ink, yeah, of course we do. Ink ribbon, lovely. Uh, I'm gonna save once just to not have to go through all that again. Okay, and locked and can't be opened. The door, doctor's office. We're gonna need a key. Uh, career here. Looks like the door will open if you have the right card. Uh, I think I see the right card. Let me just. Actually, hit him. Okay, you should hopefully be dead. Yeah, he's not dead. Be ready for him to grab you. Train employee's corpse has been brutally torn apart. He's holding something. I will take that. And are you going to grab her? Uh, behind you. Uh, behind you! That's not a zombie. For once. Hey, come on, I'm just the medic. Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? Not even the kind of. That was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, mm -hmm. no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Odd. Wait, you're under arrest. <laughs> no thanks, I... face. I've already worn handcuffs. Yeah. Shoot, you know. You're not gonna. Ooh, I like your pier piercings, dude. Edward. Oh. Are you all right? Never mind, not zombie. What happened? Zombies. Probably dogs, actually. Did you not see the creatures? Woohoo! Dogs! Careful! They're mean bastards! Oh, shh, son of a. Stop t shooting till you're sure it's dead. I don't know if it's dead or not. It'd be hard to tell sometimes. Okay, let's get into the conduct. Son of a bitch! Oh, 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 I, I see. Right, right, right. I actually like that, because in the, in the previous game, it always tripped me up. Um, it always tripped me up. Oh, no? Ah. In, jeez, Christ, that's odd. In the previous game, it always tripped me up that um, you didn't have to use items like you do in the modern games. You have to... Um, you, like, in the modern games, you had to click on the thing and then use the item, typically. In the first game, you just had to have the item in your inventory and you could use it. In this game, you have to actually use the item when you're near the thing. What do you mean? It's a conductor's key, isn't it? Salmon. Uh, dining card. Never mind. Okay, well then, guess we gotta shoot some dogs. There's some things I never wish to say ever again. But these are bad boys. 
Okay, it's dead. Whew. I'm guessing that means the rest of our team is completely shoehorned. Shoehorned? Screwed? Screwed. Also, dude, I mean, I know you're a criminal and all, but you could be useful. And also, that whole thing about you putting him under arrest was kind of a joke, because, I mean, come on. You could be buff as hell, and he still would be, like, twice your size. He's fucking huge. Oh, Christ, that's going to be taken out of context. <clears throat> I'm just gonna stop talking. Maybe the captain's in the dining car then? Good. The... This is Rebecca. Over. God damn it. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please is the... respond. Is he the copter pilot? Jesus. Twenty-three people. Are you wearing a choker? So keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over. Yeah. Still, Rebecca. You wouldn't think twice before killing you. I mean Enrico! Captain! Hello? Hello? Yeah, it's not gonna work anymore. Per usual. I mean, he kind of just walked away. Even when we threatened to shoot him and told him he was under arrest, he just kind of walked away. I mean, he's a brutish asshole, and I kind of hate him already, but still. Also, are you wearing a choker? I don't think that's Star's uniform. Like, remember, if you don't remember, the Star's team that Jill, basically the Star's members of RPD, are meant to be like an elite group they're meant to be highly trained officers that are meant to be well highly trained really good they're they're stars officers they're meant to be top of the top <laughs> even well i mean when you put against you know zombies it's no surprise that only two of you get out and this time i'm not sure if any of you guys are gonna get out there we go. Okay, so it is does work this way. Yeah, 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 I know. What is back here? Actually, where'd the one guy go? Mm. It's gonna be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, I swear. there's some freaked out things on this train. <laughs> and I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need you. I mean... I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Kinky. Well, then, I'm sorry. Rebecca... I couldn't Why help it. You go and try while I wait here. Okay. You realize, like, <laughs> she's not that much different from Jill. I mean, in certain ways, she's definitely different from Jill. But other than that, she's not that much different from Jill. Maybe a little shorter? Maybe? I don't know. We're probably never going to get a comparison between the two. But, like, dude... She's not different from Jill, and Jill handled it perfectly. Or as perfectly as you can. Notice the supervisors. When closing and dying guard supervisors are asked to switch out the automatic doors after ensure all staff have vacated the cars. At the main automatic door power switch is located on the roof. The fifth car inspections will take place when the train is gar garaged. After inspections are complete, use the ladder to the rear second floor of the dying car. Bro Corp. Who the fuck put the switch on top of the car? Thank you. You know what, management, that's who. Okay, so this way is completely blocked off until I get that dealt with. Lovely. I think things are on fire up here. The 
cutscenes are definitely an upgrade. Still have the aesthetic of the previous games, but definitely an upgrade. Uh, Excuse me, sir. I wouldn't do that. Sir. I know something by the name of a pale head. <gasps> the fuck? Oh! Oh, I recognize this stuff! Um, What the fuck is it turning into? Okay. Fuck, 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 ow! You're not giving me the hentai treatment today. I recognize these. I recognize this style. I recognize this. Ah, goddammit. Just keep shooting, just keep shooting, just keep shooting. Reload, reload, reload while you still can. Shoot. I think I got it. Um. Fire? Uh, oh, Christ. How'd you not hit us? <laughs> I'm sorry, what the fuck? Oh, I hate him even more. He's worse than Carlos. You nearly shot us. The hell? Oh no. Well. Who is that guy? I think it's a oh. chick. Oh! What's going on? I wonder if Who's we're ever gonna make it to the mansion. Go check out the first engine car. Working Listen, on it. We gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't. Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. Fair All enough. Right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. That includes groping. Right. Now take these with you. Thank you. He actually just gave if us you ammo. Find anything, give me a call, all right? Okay. Wait, where'd you get that radio? You know what? He could be worse. Could be worse. Hmm, players may... Right, I actually probably should read this a little bit, because this is a feature I what I didn't know was here. Character switching. You have two characters to control. Oh, God. Twice the mistakes. Um. <clears throat> but I recognize those. I recognize those. From Resident Evil 8, remember the daughters of Lady Demetrius. Demetrius, however the fuck you pronounce it, I never could. She, her, the daughters she had, they were kind of moths, mutated moth creatures, combined together to form one big sentient large chested being <laughs> but they did that's what they did that's what those are those are almost a recreation of that which is very interesting mm. oh god this is gonna suck oh do you think you can catch me if i fall wait so is the entirety of this game on a train? That's actually a clever way to set it up. Yeah, it's a clever way to set it up. If she goes backwards, he can absolutely catch her. He's a big brute. So is this entire game on a train? I didn't know that. I thought we'd end up at the mansion eventually. Oh. That's not gonna work anymore. Uh, the power cable has been disconnected. Reconnect the cable. Sure. Don't electrocute me. Got it. Uh, maybe step back? Why would you? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Can you get your brute ass down here? Ow. 
Oh Christ, I have two people to be concerned about now. Uh, service was stopped the first floor, call the service, uh, not yet. So let me search the rest of this. Ooh, got conductor's key, I think? Okay. That's also saying something to our attorney. You could probably get it out if you had something sharp. Like a knife? Hey, Brutus, do you have a knife? Ooh, you do have a knife. Okay. Let's get your happy ass down here. Try not to be attacked. You can't reach it from up here. I guess he has to go back the other way. He can't jump down the hole. Or he can't fit. I think it's left from the other side. Can you open that? No. Service lift. It's caught from here. Service lift. I don't know what that's gonna help. Place an item here. Ooh, clever. Train key. Uh. Da, 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 da. Where, where would he have to go to take that? Hey, this is working now. Okay, counters lane with various food items. Not have anything to use. Uh, where does that go? There's an access panel here. Some kind of tool to open it. Got you. Locked. Where's the service of the industrial size refrigerator? Helpful cooking utensils. Ah, here we go. Service of caught. Yes, I can send her up the knife. What do you mean that item's too big? Shit. Uh, shit. That item's too big. Tranky. I guess for the time being, I have to send him down the tranky? Because for some reason, the service lift can't take a knife. Come on, Brutus. Take the gate. That's. Go. Sweet. Oh, shit. Oh shit. I ain't got the ammo to deal with you twits just yet. At least I know Rebecca is hopefully relatively safe. Hey, if a zombie breaks through a door, they just open the doorway for us. That wasn't open before. The wrong button. Christ, I can't be doing that. Should Brutus really be the one trying to go and see who the hell is driving this train right now? Like, I can't imagine it's a good situation up front. Here's the key, sweet, trinky. Here we go. Can probably get the thing I need from here, but Brutus isn't great with words. Probably shouldn't be the one doing this. What we got here? Ooh, got a map. Is this entire game played on a train, or am I just losing my mind? Train map, sweet. What is this? Switch here. Sure. A secret escape ladder. I'm not gonna question it. Appears to be Dogman's print train operations. Scared over the decimal floor. We got in here. Uh, go and travel. Briefcase all we needed. Sweets. I need a code though, I think. That you can't use these, but you can hand these over to Jill and she can not Jill, Rebecca. You can hand them over to Rebecca. Codes, codes, codes. No, wrong button. I guess I should occasionally check on you just to make sure things are going well up back there. There is something on the floor. I know it's that. Come on, you giant brooding idiot. Grab it. Go from conductor. 
the key card for the driver's compartment is in my bag as always, but I need the other guy's key to open up the damn thing. Uh, but it looks like I've lost it somewhere. It was... It, if it was a normal key, someone would be sure to turn it in, but this key is different. I'll look for it too, but if you happen to find it, please hand it in. Thanks in advance. Interesting. The ladder, yes. Why does he have a secret entrance into the bar? Again, spawns are scattered all over the counter. What's happening? What is that? Brutus? You good? Oh, I feel like I'm about to add something bite my tongue. <laughs> Fuck you, game! You did that on purpose! What's that noise? What's that? Uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh I know what that's for... Shit. We shouldn't leave you right now, considering what's going on. Alright, something's going on. Shit! God, I hate you sometimes. That's what she needs to get out of there, because for some reason I ain't put that on a lift, but not a knife. Shotgun! Oh, that'd be so useful if I could actually pick it up. Ink ribbon as well, wow. This room has everything, okay. Uh, we need to go back to Jill, but she can take the herbs, combine them, and maybe take an extra item. Also, what did that switch do? We pressed it, but never actually figured out what it does. Are these guys gonna get up, get up as crimsons, or are they technically different from the other zombies? I'm actually gonna send him down the the pistol ammo, Jill. Uh, not Jill. Re uh, Rebecca has um, because. Right now, she's kind of stuck in a room. He can get a bit more use out of it, considering he is currently being assailed by all the undead. Uh, that up. Uh, use... Yeah, 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 the thing there. So let's try some use... There's a thing there! Jesus! Yes, take the ice pick. For the love of God, what else did you think I wanted you to grab? Fuck. Uh, Okay. Can nip up the shotgun, hues, and everything else in here, which is probably gonna trigger a boss or something. Something was on the roof earlier, so can't say I'm being paranoid about that. Uh, what's happening? Ooh, come on! I couldn't grab the shotgun. Ooh! I'm sorry, are those. What the fuck is that? Is that giant scorpion? Okay. Fuck. Found a replacement for yawn. Pokey. Pokey is his name. Oh, why does this damn thing have to be in my way? He said, like, gave you that pistol ammo. Whew. Am I missing something here? I... Oh! I'm aiming too fucking high. That was stupid. Okay, the fuck was that? Taking the sting out. Oh, defeat Stinger. Of course it's named Stinger. 
Is it? That blood looks kind of acid. Is that she dead? It's dead. I didn't actually expect that when we got flipped. What is that? Uh, I don't even know what it is. Let's go get the ice pick to um, Rebecca real quick. I'm just gonna call her Chambers. That's easier. That's easier for me. Just gonna call her Chambers. At least unlike Yon, that one actually is dead. Where the fuck did the giant scorpion come from? Initially, I thought it was a crab. Kind of. The similar creatures, in a way. There you go. When she gets out of that damn room, I can hopefully solve this freaking inventory issue. There's no way an ice pick is heavier or lighter than a freaking knife. Please be able to pick it up. Yes. Sweet. Uh, okay. For some there, I thought we'd go into a cutscene. That's... That actually explains what broke up the wiring and stuff. Probably saw us up there. Uh, if I can combine that. Nah. Damn. Okay. Back to what we were doing. Something stuck in the keyhole. I get it sharp. Yes, use. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was the inventory key in the first one. Is this? There we go. Uh, door knob is unstuck. Absolutely lovely. What are we gonna be attacked by next? Okay. We still have to go get the shotgun. Don't forget about that. Oh, come on! Now I gotta deal with flaming zombies! Am I missing? Nope, I'm good. Wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Swap back over. Uh, yeah. I realized her gun wasn't equipped. Ooh, you actually need to use that healing item now. Okay, okay that's fine. Um, he's still alive. Mm. I'm shooting that one through you. Whatever. I maybe deal with it. And behind you. Oh, you're out of ammo, aren't you? Shit. I'm probably close to running out of ammo. My mag, how much do I have? Oh shit. Okay, we need to get a move on. Jay, I need to heal. Oh Jesus, that thing did a number on the train. Actually, uh Rebecca can pick that up because we have space. What the hell is it? Used to open the access panels in the floor. Sure, that's useful, but why would we wanna go through an access panel? Through the floor on a train that's moving <laughs> seems a little dumb, but it works. Take the shotgun since you are completely out of ammo. Actually, for the time being, I'm gonna be used since you have the shotgun, which is a little bit more powerful. A little bit more powerful. I'd rather this ammo not get wasted if at all possible. She can do a freaking save. <laughs> if we don't say it's. I'm actually gonna be very cautious with how many times I save, considering I do know there is a somewhat limited amount. Why does that have to be so loud? I know there is a somewhat limited amount of ink ribbon around it. If, for those of you who don't know, to make a save, you need at least an ink ribbon for each save you make. Because of how old these games are, the ink ribbon is hand-placed by the developers. Which means there's only- and there's only three per, and they don't respawn. Which means if you run out of ink ribbon, essentially you have to go without, <laughs> I think? That's the best conclusion I can come to. Can you help me out here, bro? Letter? No use, okay. I was wondering if you could help me- like lift me up towards the ladder and she could go up there to do something but 
I don't really know what she would do up there. Use this, and we should be able to get the panel open. I wonder if it changes who does that, depending on who you use to do it. Into the crawl space. Uh, Brutus, I don't think you can follow. Oh, I should have took the shotgun. I only only have six ammo. Ooh! How the fuck did you fit your ass down here? Thanks for the save. How did you fit down here? Wait, what? I'm not going to believe your big ass fat fit that that giant son of a bitch. I'm not gonna believe you managed to fit through that freaking crawl space. What the hell is up with the gasoline? Please tell me I don't. Okay, it's just an item. For a second, I was about to be like, please tell me I do not need to freaking burn the bodies. I think that's something they did away with pretty quick. Because, I mean, even when I tried to apply logic to it, I just can't find any reason why burning the bodies would stop these things from coming back. You know? I just can't figure it out. As much as I want to give it a proper reason. Strange order lingers around the cage. Yeah, but... Ooh, what is that? Can you carry it? Please tell me. Thank you. Golden ring. Interesting. Uh, finely crafted gold ring. Out here, I guess? Not sure what we're gonna do outside other than get sopping wet. I'm sure Bruce doesn't mind. Uh, is that a harpoon gun? The hook shots attach the wall. To use pull lever and release lock. What? This lever? Uh, hold on. You can use that. You can oh, get a review out of the way. You can pull that. And I see. You pull that. It is so loud out here. You grab the hook shot. Come on, grab it. E come on. God, I hate having to get rid of heels. Oh no, we can leave stuff now. Interesting. Take it. Sweets. So remember there's a heel back here. A uh, hookshot operations manual. Can we please turn down the outside noise? This device should only be used when inspecting difficult to access car routes or when connecting special trains. Turn to its proper location to use. Where, you, uh, where to use? There's a ladder outside the small window by the first floor section and door by of the third carriage. Uh, Fire the device so that the hooks are into the ladder. Use the winch to climb out and secure the hook and winch it yourself. Grab a can only lift one percent time. Beware that this unit may be damaged. Lifted more than eighty kilograms. Ha uh, how heavy are you, Rebecca? Game. Oh, it's confused for a second there. What is this? It's a hand-operated brake here. Magnetic card to operate it. Well, we don't have that just yet. Uh, Brutus. Come on. Follow me. No, damn it. Follow me, you big goof. Go through there. This, I believe you can fit through, but I still refuse to accept that Brutus could fit through that crawl space. Oh, hey! God fucking damn it. Always with that shit. Oh, that always gets my heart racing.
I hate those jump scare bits. God, do I love this game. This is actually a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this. It's not quite as... Com the kind of puzzle sections aren't quite as confusing as the first game, because I'll be honest, as much as I enjoy the first game, the puzzle sections could be a little bit confusing at times. Dog whistle situation specifically being one of my main examples of that. So, no. Not that. Use this. Very good. Do you weigh more than 80 kilograms, though? I don't know. Is it... No, not Brutus. Oh, yeah, he can't follow, can he? Seems fine to me. I have no ammo. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Down the hole we go. Uh, it looks like there's a passenger cabin below. Crack. Jump to the crack. Sure. I have no ammo. 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 Can I leave? Yes. There's a knife on the ground. There's a knife on the ground. Grab the knife. Grab the knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab, 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 grab. Grab the knife. Use the knife. Ah, damn it. Get off me. I actually like the lead mechanic. It's a good... Mechanic, I like it. Mm, not gonna help in this situation much, though, but at least I have a knife. Son of a bitch. Sort to God, game, you give me a... Oh, thank God. I thought it was gonna give me an achievement. Yeah, I know. Okay. Let's finally put you right in the grave. Where you belong. You gonna get up? No? No, you're not? You're not for once? Oh, that's great. What the hell is that? Yeah, I know I can't. Neither of us really can. Doing some blood. That's passengers. Yeah, probably. Now we go through here. What the hell? Oh, Brutus, the dollar store headcrabs are waking up. You may want to get the fire ready. Do we still want to go out this door? Is it worth it? I don't think it's worth it. You're not, you know, bad yet. You only have two shots. He does have gasoline. What is this? Empty bottle. I can fill with something, apparently. Ooh, Jill. Not Jill. Rebecca. Jeez. I'm so sorry I keep calling you the wrong name. I'm really not doing it on purpose. The games begin to blend together after a while. Are they gonna form into one big creature? I got a few bucks shop for it. Ooh. They're everywhere. And is the way partially clear. Okay, it is clear now. So... Oi! Stop wasting the buckshot! Um, there's a few attached to me, like, attached to my ass. Like, that one of them was literally attached to my ass there. I'm not even making that one up. Follow Can me. you... Yeah. Just get a move on. Just uh, step on them. That's... No, I don't want you using the buckshot. Come, come here. Come here. No, I'm not trying to get you into bed. This room's safe, and I... Is this the right room? With the box? Wrong room. We got the box. What do we got... We have a combine, examine. 
Uh, looks like a case for rolling jewelry. Open it, sure. Oh. Silver ring. Back to silver ring. The briefcase! Shit, how are we gonna do this? Combine. Did mention the holes oh, intro. That would have helped before. But there we go. Now, Brutus. Okay. What about examining them? Will that allow me to get in? Okay, it's been unlocked. And we have uh, something inside. It is security system. Took the blue card. This key card is used for electronic doors. Sweet. I know where to use that. Okay, let's go. Let's hope we don't have to pick anything up because currently we are both holding everything we got. I can drop one of the pistols if need be. Right now, I'm kind of the only defense because Bruno, uh, Bruno up there don't have any ammo. It's an issue. Use the keycard. Of course, no. Damn it. I've done that so many times now. <laughs> you don't have it. Bruno, get your ass over here and unlock the damn door. Unlocked. Yes, please. And we actually have a bit of space to work with. Do we got up front? Of this course. Delta team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. There you are. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes. To uh. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have an issue. Well, that was disturbing. That's gonna leave us traumatized. Are we sure we still want to go through this door? Oh my Christ! And of course, Wesker's the one operating all this and destroy the train. Uh, issue with that. You guys are now dead. Like, very, very dead. Can we get this train under control? The engine chamber is badly damaged. There's no way to fix it. No shit. Can we gain control over the train? Not sure what we would do, but at least we won't be on a runaway train. Dude, you don't know how to run a train. Yeah. Stop this thing. Good luck with that one. Uh, oh, I know, I know, I know. Using the brake control, the following three steps are necessary to operate the brakes. So, one, activate the controls. Brake controls are okay, the following locations. First car, the driver's compartment. Rear deck of the fifth car. To activate the system, you must insert magnetic cards into the device. In the fifth car, this will supply power to both sets of controls. Step two, enter rear deck code. Enter rear deck code. Rear deck code is to release the lock. After this, driver's compartment code can be entered. Uh, enter the driver's compartment code. Enter the code for the driver's compartment unit to remove the lock. Upon completion, these three steps, the manual brake will be used. <sighs> okay. I think I got that. Uh, Billy. Because he has no ammo. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. You stay here and apply the brake when ready. Okay. Rebecca. Yeah, she's real. Huh? Don't screw up, okay? I won't. That That was backhanded as fuck. <laughs> oh shit, we actually have a timer. Oh fuck, I need the key card. <laughs> oh my... <clears throat> and my voice is cracking. Okay, never mind. Maybe he was right about that whole screwing up thing. Oh shit, we actually have a timer. Like I was saying, she's 
really good at manipulating things. You have no clue. <laughs> Such a stupid thing to say. Do we know the code? Oh, shit. You idiots have already gone back up. But, yeah, like, do we know the code? I don't think we know the code. I think we've forgotten what the... Ooh, mm, shit. Come on. It may be a tiny little thing, but you can still defend yourself. Holy shit. I wish I had a grenade. I like that shooting the gun does actually knock us back a bit. Because, I mean, yeah, we're not exactly Brutus. We're not going to withstand recoil. That's an issue. Out of ammo. Uh, duck and weave? Yeah, shit. Please don't kill us. I can't believe I'm out of ammo. Um. Yeah, like I meant, said, he's back up. I thought he was probably gonna get back up. No. Hey, listen. Either you shoot him or I'll shoot him. I don't care who does it, just someone. Stop. Actually, I don't have any don't bullets. Any closer. We don't exactly have the time, and you uh, don't have the health. Nope, we have to be in the same room. Uh, I may be about to die. Oh, this is bon voyage, probably. Yo, know, I'm pretty sure I would probably wanted to lay on top of you and eat you. But just probably not in that way, though. Doing better this time. Gonna get the cutscene again. Sadly, we do not have any heals. Yeah, 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 he's up. Come on, come on, just a little bit closer. Hope we can get a headshot. Shit. Is he dead? He's dead. Actually, I don't have any ammo to reload, so... Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Just keep going, I, do I don't have the ammo. I've used so much ammo! I wasted a ton on that scorpion, if I remember correctly. We had like 74, and then I wasted so much there. It was so goddamn stupid. Come on. Just gonna go out here, do this. Do we know the code? I swear to God, if I find out we do not know the code, I'm gonna be pissed. I got lucky with some of those shots. Okay, no. Do I need my... Right, right, right. We only have a minute and a half left, and I don't doubt this game. It will make me restart. Okay. Uh, you can use to operate. You can use this to operate the brake. Uh. Did that work? No. There we go. I'm I've so... engaged the control device for the brake. Over. Roger. I'll put the brake on now. Please don't make me do it. Please don't make me do it. Oh, God damn it! Oh, shit. I don't work well under pressure. It's broken! Oh, shit. I'm not good at quick math. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not good at quick math. I get it. Oh, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. I'm not good at quick math. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, thank God I don't have to do that again. Please, neither of you die until I get to chance to do a save uh where is this train gonna be stopping do you think I could ask that one oh that's gonna hurt 
Ooh. Mm, well, it looks like we entered an unfinished part of a, um, a laboratory. It seems that both our main characters are probably dead now. Yeah, he's alive. Maybe? Yeah, he's still alive. Don't know about Rebecca, though. She was on the back of the train when that happened. Rebecca, I'm here. Ooh, you're both looking. Okay. Are you all right? <laughs> hey, we managed to stop the train. <laughs> yes, we managed. We have to find a way out. Whoa. Oh, whew. Rebecca. change right now shit can I achievement for that uh okay can I exchange now since you're not being eaten alive uh actually or just stand there like a lumbering lagoon is your weapon equipped I equipped it didn't I apparently not well there you go considering now you're probably the only one with ammo Ow, 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 get him off. Thank you. Okay, where the hell are we? Where's the never safe room? Something's over here. Oh, the grapple hook survived. So I'm guessing anything I would have left on the ground probably would have appeared here then. Lovely. Uh, Brutus, do you have any healing by chance? No. It wouldn't toss me back to before the train, right? Right? Please, God, don't. Oh, God, I'm unsure where to go because I don't want to get hit. Uh, okay, I can't get through that door anyway, so just go this way. Please give me a safe room. Please, 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 a safe room. Please, I'm begging you, game. I don't want to have to do all that again. That part with the brakes annoying. Oh, just brilliant. Just pr game, please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Oh my god, I hate this. Just. Give, yes, climb up the ladder. Please, just give me somewhere to save. Just let me save. Are we at the mansion? I mean, that's the only place I could... Because that's technically where this... thing was heading. At least one of their underground facilities. Nope, we're just straight up in the mansion, I think. The Umbrella Research Center? Or not? Uh... Brutus? <gasps> oh! The first general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention! Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. Uh, <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. Who are you? Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge on Umbrella. Oh. You were one of their experiments. I remember there was a family or something like that. Dr. Marcus? <laughs> 
Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> well, that's lovely. Please give me a save points. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Brutus has the freaking save stuff. Go, 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 go. Use it, use it, use, use the damn typewriter. Before I have a spasm. Oh, safety at last. Oh, that was fun. Mm. If you didn't catch on, yes, we're ending this episode off here. I really, really am enjoying this. The hand, the break part was a bit annoying for me to figure out, but whatever. I'm enjoying this. It's It's been fun. It's been a, so much fun. Swapping between the characters, trying to figure that out, having two different inventories to manage and swap things between is awesome. Having someone to watch your back is great. It, it's just so much fun to do, and I can't wait to move forward. So, we're... Not in the mansion? Because that photo wasn't in the mansion. There wasn't a hatch either, and there was an underneath the stairs, but that's not here. So we're at a different facility within the same area. Interesting. Right now, I'm going to end this episode of Resident Evil Zero off here. This has been a whole lot of fun again. I've enjoyed this. Can't wait to return to this. Can't wait to do more of the Resident Evil franchise. If, if you don't know, this is the first one of these you're watching. Sunday for the somewhat foreseeable future will... That was rude. Uh, Sunday for the somewhat foreseeable future will have Resident Evil on it. And that's kind of the way I'm going to handle games like Resident Evil that have so many of them. It's a good way to kind of work through them. But not take up a bunch of different time slots with them. You know, sort of thing. Uh, for right now, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, think about leaving a like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Other than that, be good, be well. I'll see all of you in the next one. Goodbye.